What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're gonna check out WWE wrestlers who attack TV host. This should be an interesting one. We just checked out uh, a video where um, people accuse wrestling, you know, WWE wrestlers that wrestling is fake and they would have to show them it's not fake. What we do, we can legitimately lose our lives, we can definitely end up getting injured and you know just basically letting people know like hey put some respect on wrestlers names man so we're gonna check this video out man appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 100k we're almost there and let's see how these tv hosts react to these wrestlers and you know them doing their moves <laughs> Oh! <laughs> and that's when he found out that shit was real. Them knife, them, them chops, them chops to the chest. That ain't fake, my boy. Them, uh, mm, them motherfuckers are real. Just like other celebrities, wrestlers are no strangers to getting interviewed. While wrestling is a show, it's still a physical business, and mm -hmm. wrestlers often get asked to demonstrate some moves. This is what happened in 2018. While recovering from surgery, Sin Cara appeared on the Spanish-speaking show Asa and Sirio. One of the show's hosts, Adrian Marcelo, decided to trade chops with Sin Cara. Marcelo threw the first hit, but it looked like it didn't hurt the faceless one at all. Oh, no. Sin Cara then performed a chop of his own, oh. and it clearly did some damage. Adrian Marcello even unbuttoned his shirt to reveal oh. a big red mark where Sin Cara hit him. Luckily, it seemed like there were no hard feelings, and everyone joined in for a group selfie afterward. Damn. Funny enough, this isn't the first time Mr. Marcello has been chopped by a wrestler. Several other wrestlers have appeared on the show, and almost all of them have given Adrian a chop across the chest. Damn, man, he's like the resident uh, crash test dummy for wrestlers. Like, he takes all the moves. Imagine if Walter was on there. Yeah, man. Woo! I've said this before. I'm going to continue to say this. There's not enough money in this world for me to willingly, willingly take chops from Walter. Like, I just, no, bro. No, I'm good. To help promote the first WrestleMania back in 1985, Hulk Hogan and his tag team partner, Mr. T, appeared on the show Hot Properties. The host, Richard Belzer, asked the Hulkster to show him some wrestling moves, which was a big mistake. Hogan ended up putting Belzer in a front chin lock. Unfortunately, the TV host lost consciousness oh. and dropped to the floor as soon as Hulk Hogan let go. Richard Belzer's head hit the ground and caused him to start bleeding. The injury oh. was so bad that Belzer had to be taken to the hospital and Hogan and Mr. T ended up finishing the show by themselves. Richard Belzer later sued Hulk Hogan in 1990 with the two settling out of court for an undisclosed amount. Years Damn, after he Damn, bro. We put him to sleep. I think I, I vaguely remember seeing this clip a long time ago. It's the fact that he put him in the hole. Dude went limp. Then his head hit the ground. Oh, man. Sheesh. He, Eugene, or his real name, Nick Dinsmore, appeared on a TV station in North Dakota. He talked about wrestling training and took it a step further oh. during a live demonstration with the news anchor who decided to wear a chicken mask for the segment. Eugene took the man to the floor and even gave him a headlock. Right before the show went to commercial break, Eugene surprised the TV host with this. Um, don't be the smartest person in the room or uh, you're in the wrong room. Okay. You know? And, oh, oh. All right. Well, you heard that. Well, that... That hurt. <laughs> so we are going to be back in What you going to do, brother? Bro, he was in legit pain. He was like, oh, uh, uh, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like with Adrian Marcello, this isn't the only time this North Dakota news anchor has been attacked by former WWE wrestlers. Pat Tanaka, best known for his run as one half of the Orient Express in WWE, appeared on the show as well. Tanaka was also demonstrating some moves and locked the anchor in a sleeper hole. Oh, Luckily, no. they learned from the Richard Belzer incident and had the host sit on a chair. In 1984, Ooh. the investigative journalism show 2020 was doing a story on wrestling. The reporter, John Stossel, interviewed David Schultz, a wrestler uh -huh. on the WWE roster at We've the time. Seen this. Stossel said he thought wrestling was fake. Yep. Schultz misheard Stossel and believed the reporter said, I think you're fake. David Schultz responded with two hard slaps to Stossel's face, injuring the news reporter. According yeah. to David Schultz, Vince McMahon personally... Yeah, he slapped the dog piss out of him. 
Schmack. What you say, Schmack? <laughs> I told him to blast John Stossel because Stossel's making a joke of wrestling. Ironically, about four years later, Vince McMahon would publicly admit that wrestling was predetermined. Yeah. Wrestlers yeah. themselves are sometimes victims of attacks too. That's Watch crazy. I mean, obviously he had to deal with some legal stuff, so he had to say that. Um, but it's it's back then before people knew what it was, it was all a big work. They they tried to keep the business you know intact like they tried to keep kayfabe alive that's just what it was all about like there would be times and situations where people believe what the wrestlers were doing was downright evil so they would try to take things matters into their own hands and try to attack the actual wrestlers like you see in this uh uh, uh this uh little uh ending segment right here of fans who successfully attack wrestlers like people used to believe what was happening in the real was legit and in the sense of like the story and stuff like that so at that time period wrestling was perceived to be as real the stories was real all that stuff of course she got older and once you figured out that the stories were predetermined or whatnot it changed a lot of people's perspective and that's when the word fake start being used and once again i would advise you guys not to go around telling wrestlers that it's fake even though there's some stuff you see now on twitter where it's just like jesus like the dog wrestling the guy i just like okay all right all right yeah what can you do about that but i'm talking about the guys that's in the ring and uh you know really trying to tell a story i wouldn't be uh one of those individuals to say oh yeah that's fake because they can definitely show you some moves that will make you reconsider saying such things especially walter he'd, he'd chop you in half and you'd be like oh it's not fake you know what i'm saying so comment down below let me know man what is your favorite i guess you can say wrestling uh interview segment you've ever seen whether the host got attacked or whether they showed the host some moves uh what was your favorite wrestling segment you've ever seen in wrestling like where a wrestler went to a local news station or a low you know a national television show and they interviewed that person and you're like oh this was a dope interview segment let me know down below if you can remember of such things but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 100k appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace